Hello, everybody. Hey, how you doing? How Praise you doing? me, Jesus and Mary. Let's get into it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. So, look, I gotta apologize. We're having, we're having some problems. Yeah. Um, apparently, we were making videos and they were longer than ten minutes, and so apparently, we're not allowed to have videos that are longer. Than I know 10 who minutes. does that. <laughs> I mean, YouTube come doesn't on. like us. I mean, come on. Oh, so we're man. gonna get straight into it. We're gonna pray. Let's just and call we're gonna get some questions. Up. All right. Okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Therese, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, well, we got okay, plenty go. of questions today. Um, there's some interesting questions. We can only get fit in a couple. But this one, I, I got to apologize. We didn't answer it in time. We actually okay. answered it earlier, but uh, it wasn't in time. So we're just going to ask it right now. One of the one of the girls asked, uh, Dear Ed, the phone guy, would you go to Sadie Hawkins' dance with me? I'm sorry. Uh, it's a too late question. We couldn't get into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You missed out. Uh, it's too late. Okay. No, uh, my serious answer was just, um, I don't know the person. And traditionally... Um, I, I believe that Catholics ask the girl before, you know, the girls don't ask the guys. So just, um, what is that? we have to get to know the What's person before Sadie we Hawkins answer these questions. Up. But yeah, that's not really legit, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Um, it's flattery, so it right? would have been yeah, like, no, but it would have been a no anyway. So don't, don't feel too bad. Okay. <laughs> right, right, all right, right, let's be <laughs> legit. Next okay. question. Next question. Next question. All right. Um, <laughs> this is a good question. Uh, it was, it was, it's all, it was all about chapel veils. Yeah. This person okay. asked, you know, yeah. uh, like, should I wear a chapel yeah, veil? Yeah, I recommend What happens it, yeah. if I'm a little nervous wearing a chapel veil? Yeah. Um, and what, what's, like, you know, what's the, okay. the history behind them? What's the symbol, symbol, uh, symbolism behind them? Okay. All that kind of thing. Um, I recommend uh, that you look at, uh, yeah, definitely I recommend it uh, for all women to wear a chapel veil. Um, it is uh, something in the tradition of the church. It's biblical. Uh, in St. Paul, well, 1 Corinthians 11, believe it or not, I get that right. I'm Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> And um, uh, it's a custom that came down. Uh, St. Paul has recommended it. It's one of the, the early bishop, okay? One of the bishops of the church, the apostle mm -hmm. Paul, told us to, you know, told women to wear the chapel veil. So what more can you ask for? Um, it is optional now after the norm, but um, don't you have some information on that? Um, I mean, it, here's what I'm going to tell yeah. this person. Um, here's what I would say. It's not something that you need to feel like you're doing something completely sinful or wrong if no, you're not, not wearing a chapel veil. So for all the other girls watching this, if you don't wear one, don't think that you're doing something um, wrong. You're not a heretic. Okay? Right. You're but legit. It, uh, you're, you're legit. legit okay? All right. But if you're thinking about wearing one and you want to you hear, you know, you want to know if you should or not, one thing I would not say that you should be worrying about is whether you think you're drawing too much attention to yourself. Because... Um, you know, if I go to a church full of people doing the wrong thing and uh, and I want to do something that, you know, the bishop asked me to, I'm not saying that wearing not wearing one is the wrong thing. I'm just saying that trying to do what St. Paul asked you to do just because nobody else does it doesn't mean that it's wrong. Whether it draws attention to you or not is not really the the uh, the question yeah. in mind. I mean, I mean, you shouldn't go into it. You shouldn't be go into it wearing it because um, because you want to draw attention to yourself. Yeah, you should go yeah. into it. Because you know it's a symbol of uh, you know um, it's a symbol of modesty. It's a symbol of uh, you know it's it's a they, I think the the quote was uh, that it kind of represented the the ladder to sanctity, the holy yes. ladder to sanctity. Um, it, it it's it's something that your bishops your it's bishop sign of reverence, yeah, and it's um, and and, it's and I don't want to get it confused. A lot of people, uh, some I've heard people rep uh, like reference it to the Muslim veil. Yeah. You know what I mean? And how it's kind of discriminatory towards women. Let's not get this confused. Um, it's not discriminatory. Women in the Muslim tradition, they wear a veil every time they're in the presence of a man. Yeah, that's um, different. Yeah, that's in the Catholic Church, you wear it every time you're in the presence yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. And um, and it's and it and it's and it, let me quickly finish off by saying this: it was never taken out of the church. Never said, "Oh, we don't want you to do this." Yeah, anymore. this was never abolished. This what it happened is, it was part yeah. of canon law, but it doesn't belong in canon law. It's not something that should be in canon law. So they took it out of canon law, but they never took it out of, they never stopped asking us to do it. They just said it doesn't belong in canon law, but it does still belong in the church, according to the church. So don't think that you're doing anything wrong. Don't think that you're doing anything that's like, you know, um, out of date, because this is still a practice that the church does ask that women do, but yes. they don't um, demand it or, you know, command it or whatever. And I also had mentioned um, that if, um, if you are going to a chapel where it's, 
um, required. Certain certain traditional chapels do require yeah. that are in union with the church. Then you follow the norms of that particular place. No, generally, the chapels encourage it, but don't require it. So just follow the norms of the bishop and the right, diocese right. and go with whatever. Yeah, and says, know that you know? the church does still ask that we do this. Yes. Um, I so. mean, that women do this. So if there is a chapel that, there is chapels that are within the rights of requiring that you wear one yeah. um, to even enter them. And uh, that's not anything wrong with that. But mm-hmm. I would say, as far as most churches that don't, they, they, it's optional. Just, you know, just it's do, do, thing, a, yeah. do what you want to do. I would actually encourage people to do a little research on it. Yeah. Um, Get into it. I'll and we'll it. keep going. And we recommend anyone want to post uh, video responses. We, yeah, we, we want to hear. We, we want to hear, hear some, back. And we want to see some responses. Yeah, so post some video so, responses. Yeah, um, okay, I'm going to put up a link. Yeah, we'll ask that right now. I'm going to put up a link and, uh, um, on the uh, Facebook page about just this um, and, so um, you guys can see what yeah. we're talking about. Um, the next question is, uh, uh, Ed, what do you think about Medjugorje? Yeah. No, uh, yeah, if it was... Um, Let's ask that one. Well, yeah, there is a... Um, I do believe in it myself. There is a um, commission that I believe today just said they're going to... Uh, the Pope's going to make a decision by the end of the year or next year. Right, the, right? well, yeah. the, the designated, yeah. you know, Vatican official that actually is investigating these yeah. is supposed to report his findings okay. within the year, right? Yeah, so I hope for the approval, you know, and mm-hmm. I'm waiting for it. And um, there was another uh, question on this one here. On, um, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, so which one you that in the cafeteria. Someone oh, what they asked you, go ahead. About direction for our times. Um, they're also being investigated, uh, mm-hmm. but it's, they're being obedient to the bishop. So uh, it's in the lay apostle of Jesus Christ, the returning king. It's in Ireland, and um, the bishop has allowed her to promote the material, but it hasn't been, um, it doesn't have the imprimatur yet because it hasn't been officially approved. So that's the, someone asked me about that. So just clarification on it, and... Um, I believe in both of those myself, so that's um, yeah. So any other uh, questions? I mean, we're we're waiting the uh, the decision of the yeah, Vatican we'll for, the church, for yeah. the church, but uh, well, we also know that if the church came out all of a sudden today and said uh, the Jigori is not legitimate, then we would go with that. Then we go with their decision. Even if they're wrong in their decision, the truth will come out. But what, what we kind of Padre Pio the decision is that right? We go with Padre Pio. Yeah, of course we go yeah, with I the go saints. Padre yeah, Pio, and that's right. The church, yeah. yeah, we don't go with Holy Love. Because <laughs> Padre Pio appears. Uh, <laughs> right, um, yeah. Okay. okay. There was okay. another thing I, I was just going to mention. Um, Doctor Miravalli is very good. He explains how um, we we're free to believe the ones that haven't been approved or condemned until the decision is made. So we are free to believe in Medjugorje and the, the Anne books. Mm-hmm. Once the decision comes out, then we have to go by that. Okay, yeah. just to clarify, that's what the church... Like in the case of Holy Love, it, it there is an, a, a decree that he it, addressed so. in the name of God yes. that says that inc- that says he admonishes the faithful from, um, yeah, from going so, there. Um, so uh, that's that's legitimate enough yes, to say we can't go there. Go by that, and I'll, yeah. post, I'll post some of this stuff on the page too so you and can just see what we're talking la- about. Last clarification is that this had uh, there was some similar occurrence. Um, we're not going to get into the whole history of it with Medjugorje, but the local bishops uh, ruling... Mm-hmm. has been um, superseded, overruled. You know, it's overrided by the Vatican, a higher ecclesiastical authority. So in that case, the b- decision of the local bishop is no longer the official mind of the church at this time, and the Pope is ultimately going to make a decision. Thank you. Right. And let's pray before we end. That way well, we, we, have, we have a little time. We have yeah, a lot okay, of minutes. Like so <laughs> I'm worried. Say, I want to get this one no, in. We'll get this one in. I'll <laughs> cut it off if I have to. All okay. right. Um, last question. This one's interesting. It says... Uh, Ed, do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't at this time, no. But, I mean, uh, after this show, maybe again. Hey, oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> no, this you know? in there. Okay, oh, after this. <laughs> I will after this show, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's right. pray, okay? Right, let's, right, let's say a little prayer. Hey, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Post some comments, <laughs> video comments. Uh, we'll see you all soon. All right. All right, in the name of the, the Father, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness of the heirs of the devil. May God view you, can we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, and cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Pray for us. Our Lady of Medjugorje, hopefully pray for us. Thank you. Okay. Wait, we'll wait for another year. Okay. Yeah, God bless yeah. you. All Thanks. Right, guys, take care. Thanks. Give us some okay. comments. Give us a response. We want to get into we're it. We're looking for someone who wants to be our new producer yeah. of our show. Um, 
So uh, hopefully we'll we'll see you soon. And uh, okay. we need someone who can manage and uh, videotape us and all that kind of stuff. All right, take care. Thank guys. you. God all bless. right, couple.